This here is our first flip. We bought it six months ago and it went so well we decided to buy another. This is flip number two, a large four level side split on Meadow Road in the north end of Brantford. Bought at $337,000, we hope to sell the property for $415 under a budget of $29,000. This will leave us with a profit of $49,000. The timeline is simple. We gain possession on October 13th and hope to sell the house by January 7th. This gives us exactly 87 days to complete our flip. Well, happy Thursday, Scott. Today we install Toilet the, Thursdays. The throne. The throne's going in. Toilet Thursdays. <sighs> okay, James. For those of us who don't know how to install a toilet, being me, <laughs> what do we need to do? Well, you gotta first get these like little lug nuts here. Okay. So these, I got this one already put in. Now, do those come in all toilets? Uh, some of them, some toilets won't even have it. Oh. But uh, if you buy a cheap toilet. You, you don't buy a really cheap toilet, you won't get them. Wow. So then you gotta buy these, you just put them in like that. Upside then, down? Yep. Oh, interesting. And then literally we put, oh. our, we put our ring on, our wax ring, which is in here in this plastic. Upside down, like that. Put our wax ring on the bottom of the toilet. What goes down here? Poop. Oh, yuck. That's gross. And then you, this is our wax ring, we put that on the bottom of the toilet. The whole thing goes on top, and then we're gonna screw our our nuts on. It's okay. like really, really fast, really well, easy. Well, we'll join you. Your Canada's when... world's worst handyman if you can't do this. We'll join you once you've got that completed. Okay. Okay, James. What is the next step in installing the toity? I don't know what I'm doing. No? Just joking. We just gotta put these bolts in. I just don't know the order. Oh, well, this goes here. Pretty good. We got the back on the toity. So now, we can bring it in here, put the wax ring on it. The king and his throne. Drop it into place. The king and his throne. That is one proud parent. Taking a big dump later. That is inappropriate. Ah! 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 <laughs> okay, now Scott's gonna put the wax ring here on the bottom of the toilet. So where do we stand now with the toilet? It's in, the bolts are down. So we're gonna put the seat on, the top on, those are easy. Or we're just hooking up the connector hose here. Look at that. Down here. <laughs> Almost done. We're almost there. So we hooked up the connector hose, turned it on, it's filling up with water. So we're about to do our first flush. Here it goes. No explosions. The wall's gurgling. Okay, so now that this is installed, the next step is going to be putting this vanity in. So the vanity is in place here, and then we got all the plumbing underneath hooked up. Uh, just finishing up the last few touches, and then we got to put the drawer in, and then we're good to go. So there we go, the toilet's in, sink's in, everything works good. So now that the, the new vanity of the toilet is installed upstairs, pa, or Scott is going to be... It's dripping! Well he's already got this toilet out, now he's working on getting the vanity out here. It's dripping! Why is it dripping? It's dripping! Well, we've had quite an amazing adventure getting this thing out. Did you have fun? Yeah, it's a good job. Well, that's the day, Scotty. Time to go home. Have you seen my new sink? Yeah. Oh, high class. So we had to do a Home Depot trip here. We definitely got some illegal overhang. We're not allowed to. Scott's do solution? Put a red red thing on the end. That doesn't do four. nothing. No. Yeah. What is that going to do? That's the only reason the cop didn't pull you over. No. Me. No, you're full of it. Today we're back to the tiling here, so we gotta go 
through here into the bathroom. We're just getting started here again. This is kind of where we left off. We got our first few towels in. Go into the bathroom. We got knee pads today. Yeah, we got knee pads. Arthritis be gone. Scott's real happy. I am. All right, so for Scott's last day here, we're gonna go. We're taking him out for Pizza Hut. Now I mentioned that I'm laying him off. I'm not actually laying him off. <laughs> we're only joking about that. <laughs> he wants to go to Pizza Hut really bad. Now he'll still be back here once in a while, but he did get hired somewhere else. I'm not really allowed to say where, so that's it's his own privacy. We're back. Was Pizza Hut good? <laughs> he loved day, it. He was, day, we made him happy. So after painful time and effort, we got all the tiles in from here to there. And all it cost was early onset arthritis in our knees. But James bought these knee pads after he laid all this flooring and Two thirds of this. So better late than never. Uh, probably save myself a few more days with cartilage in my knees. Thank you and bye bye. All right, Scott, you're done. Stay in school. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's gonna. He'll be back to help out once in a while, but he's done. Weekdays, he's done. No more, Scott. Getting a little later here, but this room the last final thing. This is the old man. Oh, you think he's sparking away? Okay, well, he's sparking. So today's Saturday, uh, today all we really did was do some of the stone in that lower fireplace, that fireplace that was already there when we got the house. So we stoned the front of it and then the staircase going down we ended up tiling that. We got the old man with us again today, we got the day off work. Today we're going to be putting in or doing the kitchen. So in the back of the truck we have all the boxes for all the cabinets. These are all the boxes in here for the kitchen and then there's even more in the back here. So we pretty much filled up the entire thing just full of kitchen and uh, got it all in one swoop. Also no Scott today, Scott's gone. He'll be back sometimes on weekends but you're not going to see him much anymore. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Vlog's just never going to be the same. Okay, so we got a bunch of the cabinets here built. They're just kind of sitting on the floor right now. None of them have the fronts on them yet, but still got a couple more to go.
So we got most of these here built. The thing that takes a real long time are these drawers. Uh, they kind of slow the process down, but we're working on these are the upper cabinets. We're getting uh, working on getting the, the trim up here on and the deck is triple on the bottom. And then we need these, we're getting these ends ready. And then once you get them out, we'll put the, the doors on. So it's coming along. I wish I had Scott here though. So we got most of our kitchen cabinets built here. This one behind me is now done. This is uh, the one above the main part of the counter. And the one over here that we're just looking to put the doors on, this is above the fridge. And then the rest are on the ground here. These are all the base cabinets. Uh, don't have the fronts on them, but they'll be going along this whole wall here. And then of course the island in the middle. It's probably halfway done. Halfway there, would you say? Yep. Halfway there. The Swedes would be proud. Uh, today we're just doing kind of some small stuff. I started putting this trim at the bottom here and over on this one. However, the crazy IKEA Swedish people screwed us over. They didn't get, they missed like three legs and they also missed another piece of this trim. So I guess at some point soon we're gonna have to like go back. We also need to get the hardware for all the, all the cabinets here that we've installed. Um, more legs, a piece of trim. So a few more things before we can kind of continue on the kitchen. I'm working on, I got these little pieces cut, getting these little side parts done for the fireplace over here. Okay, so we got the stone for the fireplace all finished on both sides. So in this side as well. And then from here, there's gonna be a mantle that's gonna go around this edge. It should look really nice when it's done. Hey Pops. Yeah? Now that Scott's gone, I think we need you on camera a little more. It's what? I, think I said, now that Scott's gone, we need you on camera more. Oh! No! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well, now that I don't have my work mule here anymore, Mr. Scott Douglas, I have to fill all the holes myself. I think I'm finally understanding the meaning of there's no small roles in home improvement, just small holes. Last day of week six here. Today I'm just gonna be finishing up doing the cabinets here uh, for the kitchen and then we'll be kind of moving on to something else a little bit later. We'll see how long this takes. So at this point here, all these uh, cabinets here, the ones behind me, are secured to the walls. So now we'll be putting on shelves and of course the doors. Okay. So from this point, uh, we got these two over here, and then just working on doing the rest of the doors here. So all the drawer and cabinet fronts are now so we can put on the slow close. Things are pretty slick, check this out. So if you have a regular door here, then normally you would obviously it would slam shut. You take this and you convert any one of them into a slow close. So, so 
So it's on there now. Close the door. Look at that. Nice soft close. How's the grouting going? Yeah, it's getting there. I think I'm running out. So. We're running out. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Looks good. Did you end up wiping off the bathroom in here? Yeah, huh? Did you wipe off the bathroom in there? Uh, no, I haven't wiped it oh. down. Oh yeah, Junior came to come see. Oh yeah, look at him. <laughs> and teeth. <laughs> So I started putting the handles on here. Most of these are done. Just the islands left to go. And then this whole foyer here has been grouted. So it's done all the way to the bathroom. We got the toilet in now. And then we're working on this vanity situation with the plumbing. Boy, the days are long without Scotty here. 